I'm here to show you one way that I save time um, during the week. Um, I plan ahead all the time for dinners and stuff and here's one dinner I'm guessing your whole family will like. We're gonna do lasagna and some garlic bread. Um, so you can kind of use your own um, lasagna recipe that you like. You want to look for a marinara with no sugar in it and also no um, soybean oil. You want to look for something with olive oil. Mario Batali does a great job. Otherwise, you could do a homemade um, tomato sauce. My mother-in-law cans everything, so we're lucky enough to have that. So I'm going to start by just pouring my sauce on the bottom just to give it a nice um, base. And then um, I made... Um, I'm using uh, chicken sausage here. I get Volinsky's organic chicken sausage. If you look at the ingredients, it's just chicken, spinach, water, and spices. That's it. Um, and it's organic. So um, I use that and I use my food processor to chop that up. So I'm going to just layer some of that in there for my meat. Um, you could use grass-fed beef and uh, my husband would prefer that, but um, I really like it this way. So I got the um, mild Italian sausage there. So then I'm going to grab, instead of noodles, I'm going to use um, all natural, uh, no hormones, no nitrates, um, a turkey breast. So it's really thin. It's like a noodle. So I'm gonna, just going to layer that in noodles. I don't know if you can see that with the camera there, but um, I'm just layering uh, noodles. It actually takes a lot less time to do it this way than even to boil the noodles. Um, and just open the package up and start layering everything down. And then I'm going to use my cottage cheese. And I add some egg to my cottage cheese so it sets up nice. I'm going to grab a better spoon here. So I just dollop that all over my protein noodles. And men usually love this because the more meat, the better, right? Um, noodles don't have much flavor. This actually has quite a bit of flavor. So layering my cottage cheese down. And then I'm gonna grab my freshly grated mozzarella and sprinkle that on top. And you just continue layering as you would, um, just substituting the uh, protein noodles of the meat instead of the regular noodles. And um, you repeat as necessary. And also, if you're gonna get everything out to make your lasagna, my suggestion is to make three of them and you could do different kinds. So you could do the chicken sausage, you could do a beef one, you could do a vegetable one with uh, peppers and onions and eggplant and all that type of stuff. Um, another trick that I have is my oven is a delay timer. So I have them frozen in the freezer. If I decide to do a lasagna, um, just taking one out frozen, putting it into my delay timer in the morning and have it finish when uh, we're ready to have dinner or about an hour before so it sets up really nice. Sometimes this one is a little bit more watery because there's no noodles to suck up that extra water and moisture. Um, so I have it finish when we're ready for dinner. So um, my suggestion is to make more than one at a time if you're going to go through that trouble. So now we're going to make the cheesy breadsticks or garlic bread that's going to go along with this. So um, I have my cottage cheese and that's, uh, that's the main, um, the cheesiness that it comes from. So I'm, I'm going to use my food processor. I love it. I'm going to put about a cup and a fourth or to a cup and a half of um, my cottage cheese into the food processor. And I have a lot since I um, planned on doing a couple batches of lasagnas. And I'm going to put five eggs in with that. Sounds like a lot, but um, I get my um, eggs from a fi farmer, and I know it sounds like a lot, but with the coconut flour, you need um, more eggs. So that's three, four, and five. Okay, so I'm gonna get my cover here. I'm just gonna, oh, there we go. Now open that back up and I'm going to need just a half a cup of coconut flour. So I'm going to grab my um, measuring cup. I'm going to throw, I, not all coconut flours are created equal. I always use this one, the Coconut Secret brand. Um, I've been told that some coconut flours um, suck up moisture better than others. 
So I'm going to put half a cup of that in there. And I need one teaspoon of baking powder. And I always use aluminum free baking powder. So we have one teaspoon. Throw that in there. And just a pinch of salt. And I always use the Celtic salt. So pinch that in there. And then I'm going to blend it all up. So with just a half a cup of coconut flour, you can see that this mixture gets very, very thick. Um, coconut flour is amazing for that, known for that. So um, I'm going to grab another lasagna pan that I have here that I sprayed with my coconut oil spray. And I'm going to need um, a spatula to get all of this out. And I just throw this all in to the bottom of the batter the pan. So spread it out really nice and even. And the cool thing about this is if you want more flavor you could add some of those like Belinsky's um, chicken sausages in there or whatever you want. And then I top it with my Pizza Hut topping spice mix um, and that's just oregano, garlic, onion and then fresh grated parmesan and I keep it in this nice little jar and I just sprinkle it, sprinkle it on top and then I'm going to throw it in the oven um, for the allotted time. Um, I often make these right away and then just cut them up and have them in the freezer for easy additions to lots of dinners. So there's your Italian dinner.